Every year, Steam offers the best quality games for Mac users, and 2020 is no exception. Today we're sharing our best Mac games found on Steam. Note, all games on this list are 64-bit and compatible with macOS Catalina, macOS Big Sur, and beyond. Number 20 is Ziggurat 2. An early access roguelike shooter, Ziggurat 2 will scratch your dungeon crawling itch in style. As a member of a powerful magic order, you are tasked with defending humanity from evil. Face off against hordes of enemies with powerful weapons and spells while you navigate maze-like dungeons. Combat is fast-paced, and movement is the key to avoiding death. Between runs, you can visit your citadel to recruit new allies, upgrade your gear, and choose new missions. When you first launch the game, it will do a quick benchmark on your Mac and provide the best settings for smooth performance. Play this one if you're on the hunt for a top-notch and well-optimized FPS for Mac, or for the intense sessions and to be a part of an in-development game. Cigarette 2 will run on Macs released since 2014. Number 19, we have Wick. I love the concept of Wick. You play as a small candle in the ruins of a dark and dangerous cathedral, trying to restore hope to a dying world. A suspense thriller with horror and stealth elements, this free game is worth the download as there's nothing quite like it. I'm also blown away by how good Wick's visuals are for a free game. They look fantastic, and the lighting and shadows are terrific, really selling the atmosphere. Check this out for something different in the stealth horror genre. Note the game only lasts for around 20 minutes, but every moment is great. Wick will run on Macs released since 2012. Number 18 is Thousand Threads. Explore a beautiful open world filled with nature, secrets, and various opportunities. You can deliver mail, find lost artifacts, help people out, or betray them. Just don't expect them to be happy with your actions if you do them wrong. Every encounter or mission is open-ended, but there are always consequences to your good and bad actions, which always keeps things interesting. Play this one for the engaging atmosphere and impressive relationship structure of the gameplay. Thousand Threads will run on Macs released since 2012. Number 17, we have Art of Rally. Art of Rally is a colorful and challenging racer set in the golden era of rally driving. Enjoy the stylized environments as you race through them in a top-down view, competing for first place on the leaderboards. 50-plus iconic rally cars and authentic handling will appeal to expert drivers, though beginner-friendly options are also available. Driving fans won't want to miss this one, and newcomers will enjoy the visuals and easy learning curve. Art of Rally will run on Macs released since 2012. Number 16 is Crusader Kings 3. It's been a long time coming, and this year Mac gamers finally got the glorious sequel in the Crusader Kings line. This grand strategy simulation is just what medieval and historical RPG gamers wanted. With a host of new ways to ensure your royal house's legacy, pick one of many royals or nobles to start your campaign. Guide your dynasty through centuries of Middle Ages drama, conflict, and events. Expect warfare, intrigue, and new character management. Play this one for the historical sandbox possibilities that are nearly endless. Crusader Kings 3 will run on Max with a 4GB or better graphics card. Number 15, we have Littlewood. Check out this casual city-building life sim with charming graphics and relaxing RPG elements. The world has already been saved, so there's no need to worry. Just explore the world, collect rare treasures, and meet new characters to invite to your town. Fulfill requests, build new structures, and master a variety of different hobbies and skills. Maybe you want to go in for mining, cooking, or to be a merchant. Play this for an easygoing life sim RPG experience. Littlewood will run on most Macs out there. Number 14 is Bioshock 2 Remastered. Old and new fans alike will appreciate Feral's efforts to bring us another remaster where we can enjoy Rapture, expect 4K support if your Mac can handle it, high resolution textures, and a new combat challenge mode. Based on our testing, the macOS version is actually better optimized than Windows 2, which is known to be buggy. Step into the shoes of a big daddy and protect little sisters from threats. New weapons, plasmids, and intense combat await, alongside a bizarre, disturbing, and compelling story. Multiple narrative choices allow for different experiences should you play through more than once. Rapture at its finest. Play this one after the original to get the most out of it, but it stands firmly on its own as well. Bioshock 2 Remastered will run on a recent Mac. Number 13, we have Hellpoint. Rejoice Mac Faithful, for ye can now play a 3D Souls-like game on Mac, and it's pretty good. Enter the hellish world of Vira Novo, a derelict space station overrun by interdimensional horrors and cosmic gods. As a creation of the mysterious author, you must find the Calamity Source and overcome the station's many traps and enemies. Dozens of melee and ranged weapons allow you to craft your own playstyle. Gear and weapons unlock new abilities the longer you use them, encouraging growth. Play this one for the intense action and dark atmosphere. Hellpoint will run on Macs released since 2012. Number 12 is Planet Coaster. Soon you can play this older but new to Mac theme park sim courtesy of Aspire Media. 
Suppose you have any interest in theme park design, or have always wanted to realize your every architectural whim. In that case, Planet Coaster is the game for you. You get full control with piece by piece construction as you make whatever you like with over a thousand unique components. An in depth simulation rewards your skills and management. Every park goer is an individual who explores their own interests and desires. Thrill the crowds with your awesome rides and watch them react. Play this one if you enjoy theme park management and in depth simulations. Planet Coaster should run on Macs, released since 2016. Number 11, we have Disco Elysium. The magnum opus of RPG creation, Disco Elysium will take you on a journey weirder than its name. Experience a groundbreaking character system that lets you be anything you want and pursue almost any adventure in an open world city. As a detective, you can crack cases and help those in need. But are you really a good guy? The city is yours for the taking and nothing is off the table. Be a paranoid wacko dancing in the streets, ponder the meaning of life with poetry, or take bribes to look the other way. Play this one for the one-of-a-kind RPG experience with tons of replay value. Disco Elysium will run on Macs released since 2012. Number 10 is The Pedestrian. A cleverly themed puzzler, enter into the 2.5D side-scrolling platform world of The Pedestrian. Featuring stunning graphics and tricky puzzles, you must guide your character across numerous busy environments. Play by rearranging or reconnecting public signs to advance through each level. Puzzle gamers will appreciate this new take on the genre. The Pedestrian will run on Macs release since 2012. Number 9, we have Superliminal. What you perceive is what is really true in Superliminal, a mind-bending first-person puzzler. Attempt to escape the surreal dream world by solving impossible challenges through the lens of depth and perspective. Encounter optical illusions and forced perspective as you must think outside the box to proceed. Probably the most compelling new entry in the puzzle genre since Portal, you won't want to miss this one. Play it for the mind-bending puzzles and reality-warping experience. Superliminal will run on Macs released since 2012. Number 8 is Roki. Embark on a charming and magical adventure in Roki. Enter a long-forgotten world of folklore filled with strange creatures and locations. To save your family, you will have to explore an ancient wilderness and solve its mysteries. Featuring a signature graphical style and unexpected characters, Roki will keep you engaged with its narrative and puzzles in this family-friendly adventure. This game arrived a few months late on Mac, but thanks to the developer for taking the time to optimize it for Mac, ensuring our experience would be just as enjoyable on other platforms. Roki will run on Macs released since 2012. Number 7, we have Spiritfarer. Spiritfarer is a pleasant management game about dying. As Fairy Master to the Deceased, build your boat to explore the world, care for your spirit friends, and guide them across mystical seas to finally release them into the afterlife. Surprisingly thought-provoking and bittersweet, Spiritfarer hooked me in a way I never thought this genre would. By making the journey more about others than yourself, there's something uniquely compelling at play here. Lovely visuals, soothing music, and a large variety of activities will keep you busy as you explore the imaginative world. Play this one for the relaxing gameplay and terrific story elements. There is a demo available to try out as well. Spirit Farer will run on Macs released since 2012. Number 6 is Chrono Shot. Chrono Shot is our favorite free Mac Steam game right now. Hop into time based arena trials to test your skills and complete challenges. Blast a variety of monsters and robots to unlock new abilities, weapons, and game modes as you get better and score big points. One of my favorite features is the ability to grab enemy bullets out of midair to reload your own guns. The slow motion combat is also glorious to behold. As an in-progress game, expect new features to come along, such as multiplayer. Play this one for the satisfaction of blasting enemies to bits in slow motion. Chrono Shot will run on Max, released since 2012. Number 5, we have Carrion. I always enjoy games where you play the villain or monster rather than the hero. Enter Carrion, where you play a creature stalking and preying upon those who have imprisoned you. Spread fear and panic throughout the facility as you destroy everything in your path. Grow and evolve as you tear down the prison and acquire more devastating abilities on the way to retribution. The sharp animations and great soundtrack don't hurt either. Play this one for the reverse horror experience and heaps of pixelated violence. Carrion will run on most Macs out there. Number 4 is Baldur's Gate 3. Gather your party and return to the Forgotten Realms in this much anticipated entry in the Baldur's Gate series. Choose from a wide selection of races and classes or play as an original character with a handcrafted background. Adventure, loot, battle, and romance as you journey through the world. You can play alone and select your companions carefully, or with up to four friends in multiplayer. Unprecedented freedom in the world, story, and combat will surprise and delight fans of D&D and deep RPGs. Just note that Baldur's Gate 3 is very early access with many bugs and ongoing developments. 
play this one for the Dungeons & Dragons tabletop experience translated onto your screen, and for all epic fantasy RPG fans. Fun fact, the Mac OS version is better optimized than Windows based on our tests. Baldur's Gate 3 will run on Macs with a 4GB or better graphics card. Number 3, we have Untitled Goose Game. Untitled Goose Game just asks one question. Do you want to play as a terrible goose? The answer, of course, is yes. Let loose in an unsuspecting neighborhood, just how much havoc can you create? A town full of people just getting on with their day, it's your job to annoy them. Sneak around and honk at old men reading newspapers, steal tools, run through homes, or move traffic cones in this slapstick stealth adventure. Set up pranks, honk a lot, and generally ruin everyone's day as you proudly play a truly terrible goose. Untitled Goose Game shouldn't be passed up by fans of causing mischief and anyone who always wanted a game with a dedicated honking button. Untitled Goose Game it should run on Macs back to 2012. Number 2 is Hades. Hades might be the perfect game of its kind. Merging aspects of Supergiant Games' previous titles into one, expect to see glimpses of Bastion, Transistor, and Pyre's DNA here. But don't worry if you've never played or heard of those games, since Hades is pure action RPG gaming heaven. Play as a prince of the underworld attempting to escape. A roguelike setup ensures the usual randomized runs where you get stronger each time, but Hades adds such flair with its story, narrative, and gameplay that even dozens of hours in you will see new events and story elements. Play this one for the Greek mythology theme and polish to perfection gameplay. Hades will run on Macs, released since 2012. Number 1 we have Desperados 3. Who doesn't like a good story in the ruthless Wild West? Enter Desperados 3, a hardcore stealth action game with a brilliant narrative and engaging characters. Use your team's unique skills to overcome challenges, wherever you like. Open-ended levels with multiple solutions mean you can play your way, stealth or loud violence. This one feels like a genuine masterpiece, blending expert level design, AAA voice acting, and top-notch gameplay for a joyous gaming experience. I can't get enough of it. Play this one if you love Blades of the Shogun or enjoy stealth action games. Desperados 3 will run on Max with a 2GB or better graphics card. Check out these upcoming Mac games. Wasteland 3. Face new dangers from the environment and crazy post-apocalyptic people in the sequel to the 2014 RPG hit expected to be on Mac this winter. Metro Exodus. Spotted on a Steam DB entry, it's no surprise Exodus is coming to Mac, considering the first two were ported by the devs. In this third and final entry, conclude RTM's story as you cross Russia to find a new life. Empire of Sin. Become the biggest mob boss around in this gangster empire building epic set during the Prohibition era. Empire of Sin is expected to release on December 2nd, 2020. Path of Exile. Slay monsters, grab loot, level up, and build your character however you want in this acclaimed free-to-play action RPG. You can download a playable Mac beta via the link in the description. Amnesia Rebirth. Look no further than Amnesia Rebirth, the long-awaited continuation of the beloved Amnesia games for all your horror gaming needs. Explore the limits of human sanity as you descend into a new darkness. Crumble. Jump, swing, and slime your way through this dynamic physics platformer as a cute ball navigating a crumbling world. Crumble is expected to release on December 5th, 2020. You can download a free demo right now on Steam. Proteus is a first-person shooter taking cues from old classics while reimagining them using modern techniques. I'm impressed by the high-quality 3D art mixed with retro rendering. What is your favorite Mac game on Steam this year? Do you actually play Mac games via Steam, or perhaps on another platform such as the App Store? Let us know in the comments. Expect next year's Steam list to be even better with the release of Apple Silicon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with Mac gaming. My name's John, and thanks for watching.